Good evening. It's 9 p.m. here in Seoul. Thank you for joining us on Arirang News. We begin with the government reportedly delaying medical license suspensions of trainee doctors, which were supposed to take effect tomorrow. While the government aims for a constructive dialogue with the medical community, they remain at odds over the proposed expansion of the country's medical school quota. Our Song Yujin starts us off. The Korean government has reportedly postponed the suspension of medical licenses for trainee doctors who have walked out in protest of increasing the med school admission quota. Suspensions were set to start on Tuesday, but an unnamed official from the presidential office told Yonam News on Monday that things are on hold temporarily. The official said the government cannot carry out license suspensions while trying to engage in dialogue with the medical community. Over the past several days, the government has been softening its hardline stance. On Sunday, President Yoon suk yeol asked Prime Minister Han dok su for flexible measures to resolve the dispute and establish a constructive council for consulting with doctors. Health Minister Cho kyu hong on Monday also described such efforts by the government. The government has immediately begun working towards establishing discussions with the medical community and will come up with a day for both sides to sit down for talks as soon as possible. But the minister made it clear that the government will stick to its original plan to increase the med school quota by 2,000 from next year. We will certainly complete the goal of the expanding medical school admissions for the first time in 27 years. We ask for your support until the end. The medical community says it's willing to talk, but with conditions. Unless the government withdraws its plan to increase the medical school quota and allocation, this crisis cannot be resolved. We are ready to discuss all pending issues in front of the public. But I don't believe withdrawing the plan equals to eliminating the expansion entirely. But it appears there's still a long road ahead for dialogue. Professors from most of the country's 40 medical schools began submitting their resignations on Monday in solidarity with trainee doctors who have been in a standoff with the government since last month. Some schools witnessed the majority of their professors resigning, including 433 out of 770 at Ulsan University. While they've been covering for the trainee doctors, the Medical Professors Association of Korea announced on Monday morning that professors who continue to work even after submitting their resignations will start reducing the number of outpatient appointments to focus on intensive or emergency care. They'll also cut back their weekly working hours to the legal maximum of 52 due to excessive workloads. Song Yujin, Arirang News.